Hello, this story is part of a series titled The Seattle Jujinas. In 1976, Dad announced the family was moving from Iran to the U.S., and I packed all of my dreams with me. Shortly after arriving, Dad announced the start of a family business, with brother and me as his laborers. At first, I was devastated, but slowly I adapted as I fought for what was important to me including a part-time job so I could pay for a used car, my insurance, and my college tuition. In this story, I'm hoping to give you a tiny taste, a glimmer of what life was like in the Jujina family business as I worked for over 10 years and never got paid. Welcome to Storytime with Kumars. My name is Keo Jujina, and this is my story titled The Jujina Family Business. I hope you enjoy it. As a teenager, working for dad felt like serving a prison sentence for a crime I did not commit. It had to do with his inflexibility and the way he was when it came to dealing with his family. It didn't have to be that way. I had the expectation that after two years my time was served and the ironclad cell doors to the outside world would open. I wanted to experience the taste of freedom, a dream shared by many sons and daughters of immigrant families. For two years, the family did what Dad asked to create our new lives in the U.S. First came the remodel of the back house on Northwest 88th Street then the building across the street of a new home for mom. Not to mention the rentals. Always seemed to be needing one thing or another repaired. All of this was supposed to be short term until dad went out and found a job. That was the understanding. My vision was one where the family members supported each other as we explored a world out there waiting for us. As for me, my dreams were simple ones like participating in after-school activities, drama or astronomy as a way of making friends. A part-time job at a pet store or plant nursery would have provided me with a little spending money. I felt I needed to work towards something of my own making. In my innocence, I thought that was why we moved to the U.S. in the first place, to experience a quality of life we could not, living in Iran. At a young age, I remember Dad never seemed keen on doing anything on his own. It was always, come on boys, we have this, that, or the other thing to do. And here's where hindsight was 50-50. Instead of paying cash and purchasing old, dilapidated houses one step away from being condemned, why didn't he purchase two or three decent rentals in good neighborhoods? It might have made things more manageable for the family as a whole. In the long run, the return would have been far greater and dad might have kept his health. A full-time job would have helped him to assimilate into U.S. culture, provided medical insurance for the family and a pension for mom and dad. Most importantly, dad might have made some friends. I breathed a sigh of relief as dad began his search for work. He brushed up on his resume, and Mom pulled out the old electric typewriter we had brought all the way from Iran to put it into print. Logically, with his Iran air history and working on airplanes, Boeing seemed the most likely place to start. Dad made two trips down to the Boeing facility on East Marginal Way before he announced, Boys, we are going to go into the construction business. What the Frappuccino? Something deep inside told me this was the time to speak up. One of the few times mom and I formed an alliance. Our dreams were at stake and we knew what it was like to work for dad. Mom started, why don't you call Gigi and ask him about his contacts? He offered to help you. And then I jumped in, dad, there has to be another way to get in. Other aerospace companies to work for. You shouldn't give up this easy. Suggesting Dad was giving up was a sign I was bordering on disrespectful. Boeing is unionized, and the only way to get in is to start at the bottom and work your way up. After 20 years with Iran Air, 
I'm not about to start that. But something was wrong with Dad's information, because it made no sense. How could the only way to work for Boeing would be to start from the bottom? Dad was getting hot under the collar. His family was not supporting him, and for good reason. Mom and I saw the writing on the wall. It would have been one thing if Dad went into the construction business and figured on hiring a crew and having his family help out every now and then as we could. But when the family was the crew, it was not the way to go. So we had to push and push hard. When having a conversation with Dad and his mind was made up, he would put up brick walls. The strategy was to push until the wall fell over or swear words started to fly. When the swearing started, we stopped because there was no point in going any further. No, I've had enough of these idiots and their unions. Stupid swines make it difficult for outsiders to work here. This country is not friendly towards immigrants. No one ever said moving to America was going to be easy. Agreed, no one said moving to America was going to be easy, but I saw no point in making it more difficult than it had to be. Dad's eyes were beginning to take on that piercing look. I knew all too well he had made up his mind. We have to work hard if we are going to make it. We are family. This is a family business. And you are all expected to help out. We are not like these Americans who think only of themselves. And what is in it for me? That is not our way. We all have to work together. That is how we will survive. One day, all of this will be yours. I have made up my mind, and that is that. All of you are getting too fat. If you don't mind yourselves, I will take you back to Iran. And that is how the Jijina family business, MR Construction, got its start, which stood for Manije Rostam Construction. Brother and I were the laborers, and mom and sister helped out. At first, we worked seven days a week, including after school. Eventually, we convinced dad we needed Sundays off, and dad helped us talk to mom. <laughs>